Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this, but that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Nothing in this image is real. It is a photo montage with a profusion of wires and posts applied later. It illustrates a Wikipedia entry about New York during the Great Blizzard of 1888. Wiki states, Railway and telegraph lines were disabled, and this provided the impetus to move these pieces of infrastructure underground. Which is a big lie, as everything had worked perfectly fine for centuries in underground tunnels built by our previous civilization. I find the photo in a Facebook group claiming to be specialized in historical images. It gained 2,100 likes, and comments like, how lucky we are, in 1888, no fiber optics, look at all those wires, I am so grateful. We really would be lucky if we could live in the 1800s, with all the luxury, technology, and comfort, that were within everyone's reach. The current one has not only taken all that away from us, but also made us hostages of ignorance, in a world ruled by the insane and incapable, voraciously waging war to maintain one group's total dominance over the world. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. About 10 years ago, miniature lead books were found in a cave in Jordan. The 70 small books describe the life of Christ and the early years of Christianity. Researchers at the University of Surrey in the UK used isotopic analysis to compare a sample of the books with a sample from 2000 years ago and concluded that they were identical. At the same time, they confirmed the correspondence of the text and grammatical constructions to the real ancient language. In the decoded part, it is written that Jesus is a prophet, that his teachings are a revival of the ancient Jewish religion. It would seem that this is the conclusion of scientists about the antiquity and authenticity of the artifacts. But the content of the texts was highly disliked by the church, and the Israel Antiquities Authority quickly declared the books to be forgeries, bypassing the results of their analysis. Modern equipment and methods make it possible to study the Jordanian finds for a long time to come. Since nobody's going to say it, I will. Social engineering through music is real, and rap is the most influential and destructive of them all. Most people argue that music is just music and that hip-hop just reflects reality. But that's not true. Music creates reality. For example, when N.W.A. released the police in 1988, violence against cops rose 300%. That alone shows you how powerfully music influences societal and cultural trends. African Americans are cultural influencers of pop culture, and elites understand the value of propaganda. They knew that if they could get black people to promote certain lifestyles, others would eventually follow. Now here's where it gets diabolical. What the industry won't openly share is the suppressed history behind the rise of gangster rap. 
Just like the CIA introduced crack cocaine into black ghettos of America in the 80s, thus creating the crack epidemic, the music industry has its nefarious ties as well. In the early 90s, high-level music executives had private financial interest, with newly built and privately owned prisons, and they ordered hip-hop artists to diverge from conscious rap, to promoting drugs, violence, and x, thus resulting in the mainstream advancement of gangster rap. The covert goal was to encourage hip-hop artists to promote criminal behavior to increase incarceration rates and fill up the privately owned prisons, which would in turn make the executives richer. While incarceration rates have dropped since the 90s, we've seen the same trend with pharmaceuticals influencing pop culture, given that 50% of songs include illicit drug references, and opioid sales have increased 129% since 2000. Music we see today is nothing but controlled hypnosis over youth. Now remember, if you can control the music, you can control the children. People don't want the truth. They want the illusion that has been manufactured to them by parasitic entities and tend to adopt a surrogate truth to cover this painful reality. A typical reaction of someone confronted with a harsh reality is that of disbelief, denial, and angry rejection. But why? Facing this bleakness of reality is difficult when the veil of ignorance has been lifted. However, the truth is in plain sight and undeniable. Truth carries such a magnitude that accepting it shakes one's identity to its very core. Such a massive shift in perception generally terrifies people because many of them prefer living in a safe bubble of lies. So instead, they go along with deceptive narratives often amplified by mass media and entertainment. Simply put, people want a truth, not necessarily the truth. My goal is to liberate you from the illusion which many aren't ready to be unplugged from. Unfortunately, people with this goal are met with resistance and ridicule, as it's an attempt to insert vision into blind eyes. Many are so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. So, if the manufactured reality you cling to so desperately works for you by all means, keep clinging onto your illusion. Or, you can join the new counterculture awakening, which seeks to share truth to help you lead a truly fulfilling life. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.